the Holy Mass. Introductory Rites Prepare We start Mass by joining together with one voice, singing the entrance hymn, while servers, ministers, and priests or priests process towards the sanctuary. This is a reminder that we are a pilgrim church, following Jesus Christ towards heaven. Then, the priest kisses the altar that represents Jesus Christ to show deep respect, reverence. We make the sign of the cross and the priest welcomes us in the greeting. We remember our sins and ask God for mercy in the penitential rite. We praise God in the Gloria song. This song was first sung by the angels the night that Jesus was born in Bethlehem. We then ask God to hear our prayers in the collect. This prayer is usually addressed to God the Father through Christ in the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. The Liturgy of the Word. Listen. It's time to listen to God's word, usually from the Old Testament in the first reading, and then respond to it by singing the responsorial psalm. We then listen to God's word from the New Testament in the second reading. We stand and praise God for the good news, singing the gospel acclamation, Alleluia. We listen to the gospel reading by the priest or deacon. Then we sit down to listen to the explanation, homily. We make a profession of our faith through the creed and pray for our needs and the needs of others in the prayers of the faithful. The Liturgy of the Eucharist, Give. The gifts of bread and wine are offered at the altar. These gifts represent all that we are, all that we have, all that we have made. Everything is a gift from God. So we bring to God from what he has given us. The priest prays that God will accept our gifts. Then we come to the main part of the Mass the Eucharistic prayer. We give thanks and praise to God. Preface. We sing the acclamation of praise, Holy, Holy, Holy. The bread and wine becomes the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Consecration. We proclaim the mystery of our faith and say the great Amen. Communion rite. Receive. We pray the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer. Then we offer one another the sign of peace. We pray for forgiveness, mercy, and peace in the Lamb of God prayer. Then we receive the body and blood of Jesus Christ in Holy Communion. (laughs) 
After communion, we pray that the Eucharist will strengthen us to live as Jesus did. Concluding rites. Go. We receive God's blessing. Then we are sent forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. God does not leave us alone in the world. He goes with us. We have heard God's word and have responded to it. Now we can take it to the world. We have received the body of Christ. So now we can go out as the body of Christ into the world.